Hey, what up guys? We got another unboxing today. This is a uh, Chris Reeves Benza. Really excited for this one. Um, really miss my Sebenza, so this is like my ideal spec. Uh, just with a different blade shape. I still love the Insingo, but uh, the Tanto would have been my ideal spec. So let's get into it. Using our JG10 XM3 inch. Not sure if I'm even in frame here. Probably, I don't know. Should be good, right? It's actually a pretty cool box. I didn't know they were doing these now. Um, there you go, you can see this is the uh, Blade HQ exclusive with the carbon fiber inlays. Really cool blade here. So let's go ahead and open this up, see if I can do this one handed. Alright, this is going to be tricky. There we go. Try not to cut the box at all either. You know, this probably wasn't the best idea. There we go. Still loving this blade. Uh, the lock rock got, or not the lock rock, the lock stick is completely gone now. I don't know what it was, but it just needed to break in or something. Slowly getting a lot smoother too. Um, once I get a tool though, I'm going to take this apart and put some nano oil in it and stuff and just make sure all the grime is out. So hopefully it'll be even smoother then too. Alright, so let's open this up. Wow, they even changed their, uh, their cloth here too. It's been so long since I've gotten a Sabenza. They changed the font on it, and it looks like the uh, the color. These used to be a little bit lighter blue. Oh, now we have like a little display cloth, which is nice. Um, so we have this cool sheath for it here. Uh, this is a, an extra that they did included. geez yeah I'm definitely uh, taking this thing off I asked him to take it off before but it appears as if he forgot to which is no worries but this carbon fiber inlay is just beautiful a little bit of wear on the pocket clip which is not a big deal I'm gonna take off my ring so I don't scratch up the blade at all, or the uh, scales. There's the centering. It's got a little hair in there. Hold on. Look at that. And single carbon fiber. It's pretty awesome. Okay, let's go check and see what else is in the box here. Not a fan of this uh, lanyard. It's longer than the actual knife itself. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, what do you guys think? It just... <laughs> yeah, I don't know. This is not it. Uh, the lanyard is not... Uh... Yeah. Got the uh, think twice, cut once. Little sheath here. I assume this is just a block for padding. Um, don't know if they have anything else in the box here. Maybe, uh, pa oh yeah, paperwork underneath, I'm guessing. Yeah. I 
Okay, that's interesting. They really changed up all their packing. So they have a little booklet now with, uh, I guess just information on the 21 and like your, your warranty and refurbishing services, I guess. Here's the birthday, November 19th, 2019. It's pretty cool. This is registration, and then it looks like you get a little sticker here too. That's actually pretty cool. And then it looks like the, uh, the history of the Savenza, or Chris Reeve, not sure. Um, does it continue? No. All right, let's get some more shots of the knife here. Put this to the side. It's actually pretty cool. I'm um, not a huge fan of how they did this box because, I mean, it, it is really cool for presentation, but um, it won't ship in like a small flat rate, which kind of sucks. I don't think the hinder boxes do either. Um, so it's unfortunate, but you have your Chris Reed tool, grease, and looks like the original uh, paracord for the lanyard. And I'm not sure what that is. If that goes with the uh, original lanyard tube. I'm not sure. I think it actually might have gone around there, but this lanyard wouldn't fit uh, with that tube in there. I'll have to check that out. But yeah. It's kind of weird. I'm not, uh, I'm used to having the flipper. The, uh, here. For size reference, I'll show it up against the 3 inch XM18. So, a little bit smaller overall. Um, let's see the cutting edge. So, it, the knife is actually smaller overall, but it has a larger cutting edge. Um, damn, that thing is pretty. I absolutely hate this lanyard though. Not a fan at all. I don't put lanyards on my knives either. So uh, just having, you know, the, the normal Sabenza one isn't terrible, uh, but this thing is, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'll get some more shots of just this Sabenza alone. I love the stonewash finish they put on these blades too. It's not like a super aggressive stonewash, but it's just enough. It's almost like a, a bead, they bead blast it and then like stonewash it or something. Not sure. Then you got your sand or uh, satin flats. And you have the sandblasted frame here and edges. the lock up. The action is pretty hydraulic. You know, it's not like a, a drop shot action, um, but it's very smooth. Absolutely love those carbon fiber inlays. Love the contrast with the blue lug too and just overall carbon fiber satin finish. See how easy it is for left hand opening. Oh actually this is not even gonna be possible because it's not the double lug. I mean you could use your middle finger and then do something like that. I don't know what I had got on my finger there. Um yeah. This is pretty cool though. I don't know. Um, it was kind of an impulse because this is my favorite like spec of a Sabenza having the carbon fiber inlays but um, I really like the hinders you know uh, for about the same price point this one is obviously more expensive because it does have the carbon fiber inlays like that uh, they retailed 
550 brand new from Blade HQ. Uh, but it, then it also does have this sheath too, which is actually pretty interesting. I actually, I know definitely know why he has this on there now, um, especially if you're carrying it on the sheath. It seems like it'd be pretty hard to get out of without the lanyard on there. Um, but they, these retail for 550 when, you know, the hinder is only retail for, I think, 425. Um, but then I can get a 10% discount personally too. But I don't even order direct anyway, so whatever. Um, but yeah, I'll probably make another video of this uh, once I get the lanyard off and just like up close video on better lighting. It's pretty flat light out right now. It's not very sunny, it's just, uh, yeah, cloudy out today, so not the best natural lighting, but this thing is absolutely beautiful. There you go, guys. Hope you enjoyed. We'll be making some more videos here in the near future. I actually, I just bought uh, two more blades, so those are going to be coming in here, I think, Thursday, and then... Maybe both on Thursday, so I'll probably make two separate videos for that. But, yep. Alright, see you later, guys.